Hey there, my name is Alex Martinez, and I'm the CEO and founder of eCompete Solutions. We are an Amazon consulting agency and one of the fastest growing Amazon consulting agencies that exist today. And for today's video, I'm going to talk about selling on Amazon, what everyone wants to know, but I'm going to talk about private label selling not retail arbitrage selling. I know that there's a lot of retail arbitrage sellers out there, but that's not the strategy that I'm going to talk about today. Even though it can be fruitful if you know how to do it right, if you have the right contacts, if you have the right strategy, retail arbitrage selling can be fruitful with a lower investment than private label selling. However, private label selling is a little bit more straightforward, and therefore that's what I'm going to focus on. Now, there's different levels of private label selling. There's kind of like the private label selling that you pick a product and you find a supplier and they make you this product and then you sell it on Amazon unbranded, but you can also put your brand on there and you can make up a brand and you can have it be called whatever you think should it should be called. And you can apply for what's called a GTI and exception, which is in one of my videos here, which, which you can find. You can scavenge through my videos and find GTI and exemption and having your own brand. Um, it's right here, which that's the whole purpose of this video to show you the videos that I have available for you so you can learn how to private label sell. Um, but there's also a different version of private label selling, which is a little bit more official, where you have a registered trademark with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Therefore, you can create a legit brand. However, that's a little bit more expensive. That'll run you about $1,000. And you have to speak with a, um, a lawyer who will register your trademark and you have to get the serial number, not the registration number. The registration number comes in six months, but you only need the serial number to register with brand registry. That's a little bit more advanced, but I'm only going to talk about private label selling. Now, um, I do have some videos here on my YouTube channel that they don't really have an intro, an intro kind of image. If you take a look at the playlists, I made 11 playlists. Number uh, one, Two, module two, module three, module four, module five, module six, module seven, module eight, module nine, module 10, module 11. Now, I would prefer if these modules get done on a weekly basis um, because there's five hours of information here. You don't want to just watch all of them, like binge watch them in one night. You'll fall asleep and you won't get the information at all. You should watch these videos on a weekly basis, starting with module one. Module one is the easiest. Module one is just basically creating your account and creating your account is a pretty straightforward process where you get a video interview and everything. Uh, module two is when you're actually picking the product. We're brainstorming different uh, ways to find ideas. And module three is essentially a continuation of your brainstorming where we now talk about differentiation where it's, it's really important to differentiate. Module four is how to speak to different suppliers and how to contact different suppliers, primarily through Alibaba. And you get to learn about the supplier contact chat template. Module five is more about how you write your listing. If you don't have an SEO person in your, in your team or whatever, and you want to write your own listing, you can learn uh, some tips on module five. Module six is learning a little bit about Seller Central. And module six, you'll actually have the GTN exception in module six. Uh, here, see, here's the first video. Why should you apply to have your own brand on Amazon and be exempt from UPC codes? If you apply for a GTN exemption, then you don't need a UPC code. Now, here you go, module seven. Module seven is actually shipping your products to the Amazon Fulfillment Center. Module eight is more advertisement related. Module nine and module 10 advertisement related, and so is module 11. Well, module 11 is more profitability related because you want to make sure you're calculating your profits at all times throughout your Amazon journey, your Amazon FBA journey, because there can be a lot of fees involved in this whole process. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I wanted to show you that these modules here, these playlists are organized from 1 to 11. And if you want to start creating this uh, new um, job, if you will, then you can start from module one and work your way up to module 11 and see if Amazon selling is right for you as far as private label goes. Now, if you were to ask me personally before I let you go, is this worth it? Very much so, very much so, but you need an investment. You need an investment. So um, if you're thinking about, uh, you know, if you got some kind of investment because 
if somebody gave you a lot of money for whatever reason, for like a birthday or something, I don't think birthday money is enough. Uh, I think an investment should be at least ten thousand uh, dollars in here. You you want to invest ten thousand dollars, and you want to close your eyes and see those ten thousand dollars a year from now. A year from now, you'll get a return on your investment. You'll probably see fifteen thousand dollars in a year, which is pretty good. Um, now you could decide to invest those ten thousand dollars into like stocks or something. But stocks are a little bit unpredictable. You can do day trading, but a lot of the times it just gets too confusing and your money just disappears like that. Um, understanding private label selling is a little bit more safe for your investments. It's something that I would recommend and it's way more fruitful. Uh, the return is more constant. Yeah, stocks, you could have a major return if you get super lucky. It's like winning the lottery. But for Amazon selling, it's a constant return of investment that I highly recommend. Um, or if, even if you don't have the investment, it's nice to just learn the skill and to go through all these modules and just learn what Amazon sellers go through. And maybe you have something that um, in, in your mind, in your knowledge data, database that most Amazon sellers do not have. Hey there, and thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned something that will help you get a return on your investment in your Amazon journey. Now, as you may already know, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor six years ago, and I stand here today due to the efforts of the University of Miami. I spent 12 days in the hospital and about six months of rehab later, it's like it never even happened. What the University of Miami is doing is incredible. What the University of Miami Brain Tumor Initiative is doing is incredible. So I would be forever grateful if you considered making a donation to this initiative. And how do you do that? Well, if you've seen my courses, you know I love going to Google. And when I go to Google, I'll put in University of Miami Brain Tumor Initiative. And you can literally write this all totally incorrect and Google will correct it for you. And then the first link here is umiamihealth.org. You'll get taken to the exact section where you'll find the University of Miami Brain Tumor Initiative because you know that the University of Miami is a big, big school and there's a big hospital. They do lots of different things. You wanna to get to the section where it's the Brain Tumor Initiative. And then up here, you can just press donate now and then you can follow the prompts and you'll see a bunch of buttons that say, oh, your donation will be a tax write-off. So you can look forward to that and you can look forward to, see here's the button right here. And you can look forward to helping thousands of people like myself get a second chance at life.